What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil and in today's video we're checking out the city of Wiesbaden to see if it's any good. We took a little road trip down from the north to visit Wiesbaden, a pretty non-polarizing centrally located city in Germany to check out how living in Wiesbaden would be. On our way down we passed the way more popular Frankfurt and you may ask why Wiesbaden? Well, Wiesbaden has one big draw for us. Its location. This medium-sized city with a population of about 280,000 is very centrally located in Germany and is neighboring not only Frankfurt but also the city of Mainz, the Rhine River, a national park and Germany's best airport. And compared to the other cities, the rental prices in Wiesbaden are still on the more reasonable side. We just parked our car and we're gonna hopefully go to our hotel and check in. But this parking garage is pretty cheap. It's only 450 euros per day. The first thing I notice is these buildings, they're very pretty and aesthetic. I read that Wiesbaden has like this neo-gothic style marketplace that I want to check out. I just read up on Banksy and that's like this unknown artist and now we see there's a, like an exhibition. Very cool. Also, when we live in a city, I need one of these. Best way to get around. We're here for business and it's a hostel. Let's go. We're staying at a hostel today with a funny bathroom situation. If we're lucky, we shall see in a second. Or if we're unlucky. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I got a bed for both of us there. Why does it feel like the future? We made it in our glass. I can't wait to watch you poop. All right, welcome to our room tour. We have this nice coat rack, two beds for Sumo and Phil, and we have our nice living room section over here. And then the king for me. How nice is that? And then I'll bring you to the main event, the bathroom. It's just a glass box in a room. Check out wow. the cool mirror. The temperature's there. That's cool. Wow. Oh, I need to pluck my eyebrows. Wow, that's, that's hairy. <laughs> This is our super cool room. Got the shower. Over there the people sleep. It feels weirdly futuristic and sterile, like out of a weird sci-fi movie. Very nice. And then you have uh, futuristic egg chairs. We're only gonna be here for one night, so we're not spending a lot of time in here. Let's go check out the city. Look at that rooftop terrace here. Shin. Nice popping place, full kitchen in there as well. Nice. This is the quaintness and the charm I was talking about. You just walk around little dividing streets, all walking only. Schön, also good weather today. A rare finding in Germany. <laughs> So we just made it out of our hotel through the inner city, um, the typical shopping alley. We just arrived at this little square here. There's some stuff around. There's a funny green guy in the background. But yeah, first impression is um, I'm positively surprised. We came in here with no expectations, yeah. right? And I feel like it's not bad at all. So, yeah. so far, it's okay. This is like one of the last cities on our list that we haven't seen yet. We have a few cities that we're looking at potentially Moving here, we always look at the apartments available and stuff, and some in Wiesbaden have popped up. So yeah, yeah, I'm positively surprised as well, and we're gonna kinda walk through some of the residential areas next. I've also never been here, and one thing you said, there's a lot of nice looking buildings, like yeah. the house facades, the exteriors are pretty nice. Like that one there in the background. I'm yeah. not sure which one that is, but visually it's nice. It also feels very calm, secure. Yeah. Modern-ish, good modern mix with older buildings. So yeah. good first impression. But we shall venture on and then uh, get food. Yeah. Or <laughs> maybe our impression will get worse. Who knows? What a negative way of looking at it. Somebody's not a fan. We're walking through the park. It's always nice if a city has a decent park or multiple decent parks so you can like enjoy the greenery, or go for a run, something like that. There was something I missed in some cities, a little bit like Dortmund, for example. 
in the inner city, there's not really like a big park area. Yeah. But uh, this one, it's kind of nice. It's I think called the Nero Park. And you can see the wine vines. We got little ponds, we got little romantic bridges, and we got the uh, wife. Maybe we can rent there. That looks decent. I think the problem is we have the tastes of king and queens, but with the budget of peasants, so we can't yeah. live there. Seriously, is it too much to ask for uh, an apartment like that nowadays? Should it's ridiculous. It's probably a couple thousand we, per month. But then when Wiesbaden is known to be a little bit more on the pretentious side. It's one of the wealthiest cities, right? Yeah, it's quite, quite the wealthy area, so maybe yeah. Maybe it's, they don't want us here. Maybe that's why. Also very common thing in German park areas. Empty beer bottles. Ooh, I hope nobody peed on that. We're climbing a mountain on the edge of the city. Hopefully get a view when we're up there. Right, we made it up to the Nero Berg, the Nero Mountain. There's this little theater up yeah, here. Yeah, we have to fight to the death. It's a <laughs> Roman theater. The cable car is leading up here, and then we apparently have a view towards the city, which we will check out in a second. Yeah. Ooh, baby, do you want to do the Walderleidnisfahrt? What is that? Say it. Walderleidnisfahrt. Yeah, not bad. It's a forest experience path. Random fact, Wiesbaden is one of the oldest spa towns in Europe. Its name translates to meadow bath, a reference to its famous hot springs. At one time Wiesbaden boasted 26 hot springs and as of now 14 of these springs are still flowing. Very nice. She thinks she's a professional. Backwards downhill walker, that's so smart. We just reverse speed this. It looks cooler. So we really just lucked out. We're taking this tram thing down back to the city. The guy's just letting us hop along. This is his last route of the day and he's going back to the city and dropping off the train. So we're coming along. Point, 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 point eleven, point. It's kind of nice. We're getting this free ride back to the city center, saving those old knees. It's kind of fun, yeah. It's a little bit, a little bit of a glimpse in the future of what the older version of traveling will look like for us, maybe. <laughs> so he just dropped us off from the little train. Actually, don't need that anymore. And uh, this is, I think, the city center, like the heart, heart of the city. Um, there's the market church in the background, the Marktkirche. And it reminds me a little bit of Mainz because this uh, red brick in a, is very common there as well. Maybe it's common for the area. Mainz is a neighboring city, so it makes sense, right? There's a nice spot and it was a very cool little train ride down here. Yeah. All right, so we're walking in the more residential areas of Wiesbaden and it's nice. We wanted to go out a little further from the city center because this is where the realistic pricings are. Wiesbaden was turned on to us by a lot of you guys in the comments. Phil is familiar with mines. He has some friends that live there. This is right across the river. We Big rivalry. Yeah, we looked into it a little bit and we were looking at the prices. It seems a little more realistic and we wanted to check out this area outside closer to the train station because that's where the more affordable apartments have been and it still looks pretty nice. Like, got restaurants, residential, looks pretty standard, you know? A lot of it's up and coming. And more döner places. And more döner places, yeah. That's... We need to try at least one while we're here. Yes. The döner test of each city. That's the most important factor for living in a city, the döner test. For him, not me. <laughs> I'm happy to see more Mexican food. Yeah, more Mexican food, more Asian so food in general. Three today. Yeah, the döners are still here. A lot of Vietnamese and Thai food here. It's so nice. There's some of these apartments and buildings outside of the city area that's so charming. I love it with these trees and this green. Phil was just saying how parts of it remind him of Vienna. I was saying some remind me of Munich. It's really charming and quaint. I like it. 
quaint is a good word. Quaint. Good. Nice facades of the yeah. houses, nice colons. They have really nice colons here. There's another Kirche. Kirche. I never know if I'm saying cherry or church Kirche. Trinkhalle, nice. As the first day came to an end, we had some all-you-can-eat sushi, Diana got a little tipsy on sake, and we finally headed in to enjoy our strange hostel room and its fantastic glass shower. So, I'm chilling here in bed, very common. And then over there, Diana's showering, also very common. Guten Morgen, beautiful people. We are awake. Phil is opening up the curtains. It's a hand crank one this time. He took a nice dump in our glass bathroom earlier, right? <laughs> and we are going to the market. We are in desperate need of coffee, so we'll get that first. All right, here we are. The market starts right there. So we made it to this market and I feel like these markets are very common throughout Germany. Even our small town has them, and usually on Wednesdays or Saturdays, some day of the week. It's nice, it's pretty consistent. You usually have something meat related, something bread related, something pastry related too. Cheese, of course, as well, and then flowers, fruits and vegetables and stuff. So wherever we end up, we'll probably have a market like this. I've got this, I don't know what it's called actually, we should have asked that, but it's like a baklava giant snail. I went for the bigger one with walnuts. Mm, it's always so good. I don't know what it is, the, the syrupy, sugary, good stuff, the crunch, freaking love these. As in every German city, the church lets you know that it's still there. All right, we came to this nice square here in the city center. There's Diana on this side. You have this huge building, which is the state theater, apparently the park with the fountains in the center and an even better building over there that's the Kurhaus. I'm not sure what the history that looks nice and there's supposed to be the big park behind it so that's where we're going. So this is the Kur Park, the big nice park behind this big nice building in the background. It's a very nice recreational area. But also what we noticed is when we came to Wiesbaden, we had a little bit of that fear that it's a little bit like a second Kaiserslautern, K-Town, AKA super American nice because there's another big military air base here close to Wiesbaden. But we haven't seen much influence like in Kaiserslautern you heard it was English everywhere. and you heard American English everywhere but here I have yet to come across any yeah so most of them must live a little bit further outside or maybe the base is just overall smaller yeah, I don't know I'm not sure I just saw they have Popeyes and Taco Bell on the base but nowhere else in Germany so I don't think we the can go important stuff yeah My. I think Deanna's adjusting hard to the weather like first we were bitching, ooh, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, felt freezing when we arrived. It's 15 degrees now. Right it's now it's 15, she's like, I'm I so warm. Get my jacket off of me. I want shorts. I want a bikini. I want to run bathing a suit. bathing suit. Can put I put this backpack. in your backpack? What are you doing? Do it. <laughs> anyway, nice park. We're going to leave the park, head back into the city for a very important part next. So let's go. One thing very, very important is we have to check the döner quality. You should never move to a city without checking the döner quality in said city prior to that. We went to this place, Mustafa's Gemüse Döner. It's the same name as the one in Berlin. I think it's another guy though. I read an article. His name is also Mustafa. He opened that, but it looks freaking awesome. And I'm gonna give it a try. I wanna eat it all. My sauce. It looks impossible to eat. Oh, that looks so good. Here we go. Ooh, it's awesome. It's crispy bread and the, I love the red cabbage coleslaw thing on it. I think it passes. The döner test, we can move here if we want to. <laughs> the döner test. So a lot of German cities have stuff like this. This is a Holocaust memorial and it's just these huge walls and you see the line on the lower half with a lot of the victims' names on it. Very common sight in German cities. We are now exiting the parking lot. It was only six euros for over 24 hours. That would be like the price of a few hours in some cities. Or well, in the US for the first 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm. 
nice facades of buildings. They put effort into it. Look at that. What oh, is that? Palace. Wow. I would like to live there. Can okay. we move there? <laughs> Rent. I'll rent the whole unit. I'll just rent it. I told you I have the taste of a queen, but the budget, the wallet of a peasant. So this is one of the nice things about Wiesbaden as well. It took us 15 minutes to drive down here. Also 15 minute bike ride from the city center to the river Rhine. And if you go in that direction, just on the other side is the city of Mainz. They're very close together. I guess they have boardwalks in each direction. Diana especially loves always when there's water or river where you can go and like I do like recreational like things water. right ish mark wasser yeah <laughs> I feel like this is the most german thing people just sitting and eating ice cream yes i would like an ice cream first look at the schloss biebrich from the back side I could see myself living here. Wow, nice garden. We'll take the lot. Nice inner courtyard. It's, uh, it reminds me of uh, the Potsdam place. Yeah. What's it called? Belvedere? No, that's Vienna. Potsdam. One of those. I guess most palaces have some uh, similarities, yeah. right? Pretty cool, yeah. So as I said, 50 minutes outside of the city center, there's a big park in that direction. And it's, uh, yeah, another level. And that thing is facing the River Rhine. Imagine just living there as a royal king, waltzing around in your palace, the, the river right in front of you. It must be pretty cool. Or a royal queen. Very nice big park in that direction. Castle in that direction. And wife in that direction. Wife, go that direction. Carry Sorry, me. I love you, baby, I love you. Sorry, you're me. beautiful, you're queen. Oh no. Very nice park here. This would be nice to have close, to be honest. What do you think? Should we live in Biebrich? instead of Wiesbaden. I thought we were living in this palace. Yeah. All right, we're heading over to the notary to put an offer in for the unit in the background. Will you take background. 200 euros a month? <laughs> oh, we can do 700 a oh. month. Whoa. Yeah, anyway, uh, huge surprise, super awesome. Wiesbaden, the area, the Rhine area here, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's all. But we're gonna head home now because our day is almost over and this is the end of the video. Yeah, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us and a special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!